guys welcome to or back to my channel my name is aubrey if you're new here if you are new thank you so much for watching please subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok all the things i just put on my favorite new lip combo lately i want to show you I found the perfect drugstore dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which everybody loves. This is my perfect one. It's a little bit more pink, but I actually prefer that because this one can tend to look a tad bit brown. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. I don't really know the color. I think it might be this number right here, but I put this on, especially in the like parts right here, and then I smudge it with my finger. Go look at my TikTok. And then I do the Tower 28 Oat. This is my favorite lip gloss. So smooth, so nice, not sticky, stays on, smells delicious. Perfection. And that is my lip combo. I did my hair and then I did about an outfit video with like 50 different outfits. So now it's a goner, but how cute is this outfit? This is like one of my go-tos. Love Shack Fancy Cardigan, which I love. And these new jeans from Levi's. They're the 501 cropped. They're a good size length on my very short legs. So that's that. I just made myself an English muffin. And it's just been sitting here. It's kind of probably cold now. Let me toast her again. I have just recently remembered that an English muffin with butter and jam is one of my favorite things in this world. So freaking good. And Dan just got this new fancy butter and this new fancy jam. Look at this. Look at this butter and look at this jam. This is going to be elite. Elite. It's been raining for days. Brooks has not been really outside. And it's going to maybe possibly late rain starting in an hour. So I'm going to quick run to the dog park. I'm wearing this Malibu sweatshirt. Let me just see how cold it is. No, I think this will be perfect for me. <clears throat> and I'm going to carry my little bee to the dog park. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, B. It's raining now. All right, I just got back. Here is my Trader Joe's haul. I bought this bag because I came back from the dog park and I didn't have anything to hold it in and it's so much easier to hold in a bag. So I got that and then I got these two rice puffs. These are fire. The only reason I go to Trader Joe's are for these. And then multi-grain waffles because I was really just failing it. The unexpected cheddar, another favorite of mine. I got a little pumpkin, a lot of raspberries, chicken for Brooks, a lot of strawberries, romaine, two bananas, this cucumber. These are my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's. And these hold the cone ice cream chocolate chips are my favorite little treat at the end of the night. So that was my little mini Trader Joe's haul. Got caught in the rain. So, I mean, half of this is so sweat, let's be honest. Uh, it, was a, it was a hard walk home. But we're home now. So, yeah, cold, tired, wet, rainy, and sweaty. Love it. I had another day in my life. Here's my adorable lobster pajamas, even though I'm allergic to lobster. Then I spent most of the day cleaning. We were having people over all weekend, so I did a deep, deep clean. Took Brooks out. It was nice out, so I was wearing a tank top. We walked into this little market thing, looked at all the food, decided to get a treat. Brooks is a hot commodity in these streets. People are always stopping us to say hi. We ended up getting an arepa, my first ever, and it was really delicious, living rent-free in my head. Then we went and picked up some clothes I had at the tailor. I came back and did my nails. I did this walnut brown for fall. Then I got dressed for dinner went with the brown vibes. A friend wanted to go to the Smith. Haven't been there in a long time, but actually their truffle gnocchi and their s'mores dessert are really good. And they had a little photo booth in the bathroom, so that's cute. Then we ended up going to Slate, another friend recommendation. We played Jenga, Connect Four. It was pretty loud, but I beat everybody in foosball, so that was good. And then we went home. That was our night. Oh, thank the freaking Lord. I'm starving. Star thing. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know where this, um, what's it called? Speaker is. But, <gasps> the frick. I have been, oh, so hungry. It's already one. My stomach is like cramping. It's just like really wet. 
Ugh, whatever. Hi, we just came back from being away for the week. So there's no food in our apartment and I really didn't feel like going out and getting anything. So we ordered a salad. So what? Brooks just gave me a death glare. Are you good? I ordered a soup. I was dying for like a soup and salad. Did you guys know Hale and Hardy went out of business? Or like they all closed in New York? I used to love their like half soup, half salad things. They used to have so many soups. But I got this pumpkin bisque. It smells so good. Ball vibes from just salad. And then I got a Caesar salad. Try her. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Wow, that's joy. Oh my God, I was so hungry. <laughs> Taking a little TikTok video. I just redid my nails. I love this color right now. D&D. &D walnut brown and when i went away for the weekend i picked off this one and this one and these three so i just fixed it so that they're all the same mm, i love soup getting into my fall vibe starting it off with some pumpkin bisque mm, love it i was having um what's it called pumpkin spice lattes all week at home because when I go home, I get Starbucks so that it's like my little treat because I make my own coffee every day at home. Dan makes it for me. So I never really got the full drinks, but I was getting pumpkin spice lattes all week. I'm eating pumpkin bisque and we're in the fall vibes. I wanna show you some fall clothes I've gotten. This is just like a fall little video. Mm -hmm. Fall nails, brown, fall paleness. Need to fix that. Yay. All right, so since we did just get home, there's things I need to unpack. My suitcase is out here, and every time I visit my mom, I go to TJ Maxx, I go to Marshalls, I stock up on stuff that I can get there. I mean, first thing, have you ever tried these? Because they're kind of incredible. The Honey Pot Company, these ones have like mint, lavender, and aloe in it. At first, I thought I was like getting poisoned, but it feels incredible relieves a lot of like my cramps and pains just try these plant-based which we love the honey pot company i need to try more of their stuff this half-baked harvest cookbook i've heard so much about this i've seen people cook from it and i want to get back into my healthy grind <laughs> i have like a weird obsession with cookbooks so i'm excited about that one what else did i get i got this coat from rebecca minkoff super cute like fall light coat i got this this is on sale and i just like bought it like kitschy stuff i got stuffed in but i thought for our dinner party um i want to have a dinner party for halloween this is a little tablecloth another one of these cutting boards which i love poly granite cutting boards are the best then i got some muffs cooking muffs this little cake pan so i can make like high little cakes him and hers melatonin gummies this peace out pours no strips i got a new brush a silicone one which i'm really excited about because i just get grossed out by like kitchen stuff and then lastly i think i got a matching apron to my new oven mitts marshall's and tj maxx like little tangs i just love them so let's put this all away Oh guys oh my god have i showed you this we got a la crusade pot i'm in love with it <laughs> dan has kept these little things on even after we use it but we got the deep one so it's a little bit smaller but it's deeper in flame i'm obsessed with it especially now that it's fall giving all the vibes we've been cooking in it we dan dan has been cooking in it and it's been delicious oh i got hives on my lips again because i come home and i kiss my dog and i'm like mm, kissing his face kissing his face he gives me little licks and i get hives so say la vie i'm allergic to my dog i just went out to lunch with my brother came back and i got a gong cha on the way, I pass it on the way back from dropping him off at his work, and it's always my little treat sometimes. So I got a brown sugar milk tea, large with 30% sugar, light ice, and pearls, my favorite. I took my jacket off because even though it's freezing outside, I'm a sweaty pig, and I was sweating. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> got too excited. Something about a bubble tea brings me such joy. Also, my fake tan on my knuckles, not doing well. And that's today. Let's see what we get up to.
I just pulled out all my like fashion jewelry because that drawer <sighs> was giving me such anxiety. I was trying to find something the other day right before a wedding I was going to and I just threw shit around because I couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna go through this. I really wanna cut some stuff down. I do love fun fashion jewelry or costume jewelry, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna keep probably like a good amount of this but I'm really trying to be strict. Like, look, my freaking nipple covers are right here. Like, what's going on? Okay, so here's the before. We're gonna get into this. We've got a podcast going on, and we're just gonna grind. And Brooks is also here. All right, guys, I just unboxed. What's with the light right now? Also, I put this Merit Lip Oil in Marrakesh on my lips, and it is so good. It's like, feels like nothing, but it's a nice light color, but it's a lip oil. Kind of like the Dior lip oils, but it's clean beauty. Love that. Oh my God, itchy eye. Uh. Okay, anyway, but on TikTok, because TikTok sees it first, so go follow me there. My name is daily underscore Aubrey. I unboxed a Zara package. So let me show you what I got. I'm like right in the middle of this. This light is shining off the building and blinding my eyes. And it's annoying. But I got these darker denim. I've been really liking dark denim lately for fall. Um, mini flare high rise ankle stretch. I like how they're just literally like chopped. So if they don't fit my toddler legs, I can cut them even more. But I really like the color. I love a mini flare. It's very flattering for like a more athletic style leg, which I have. Then I got this top, which is like a more fun asymmetrical top that I thought would be really good with leather pants. It's got the high neck and then this asymmetrical vibe. You can't even see it, but you'll see it when I try it on. But it's like asymmetrical cut, really nice. Looks chic. Then I saw this sweater. I got it in two colors because it was so cute. And it's a short sleeve puffy sweater, which I love. I got it in a medium in this yellow color. And then I got it in pink. I got a large and a medium to see which one would fit. But now that I'm looking at it, maybe I needed a small. I don't know. But how cute is this color with like jeans? So cute. I love a little puff sleeve like this. And Zara knit is just really, really nice to be honest. And then I caved and I got this stupid cardigan that everybody has, but it's just, it looks so good on everybody. And I don't have a lot of gray stuff, even though I'm wearing something gray right now. And I think it's a really stinking cute. So let's try all this on. I, I don't really shop at Zara very much, but fall is where they shine. So I will be shopping on there. Oh, my eyes itchy. All right, let's try on. Here's the pale yellow. I like the pink better, but it's still super cute. The medium is nice, but I actually might change them both for a small, because I feel like a small would just fit a little bit better. But how cute. I like the cropped nature of it. And here's the pink. I love this color and style, especially with the white jeans. How stinking cute is that here's the famous gray cardigan i feel like it looked cuter on everybody else but i think i still like it <sighs> what do we think definitely looks better open than closed on me i feel like that's cute but i don't know a little scratchy a little itchy <laughs> you're being adorable I got a new blanket and Brooks is loving it. All right, here's this top. I feel like I like it, it feels chic, but I don't know, do I keep or return? And then the jeans are super comfortable and stretchy. Do they look cheap or do they look good? Give me your opinions, cause I don't know. 